Hey everybody, my name is Kedon, welcome back for a new series. The new Game Boy is called Best Month Ever. And uh, this looks to be a fantastic game. Another indie Game Boy, it's 20 bucks or something. If you want to buy it, buy it. I'm always going to encourage the, uh, going to encourage the uh, small time producers, the small time developers. Uh, obviously, this is a nice game. It, lo it looks fantastic. Uh, it was in my plan, was in my calendar to play this game, and it finally came out on PC. Uh, that is, uh, it's supposed to come out on the consoles, but uh, for the next gen, at least, it hasn't come out yet. So, I'm forced to. I was forced to buy this on PC. Uh, let's see how well it ends up with my brand new PC and everything. Uh, let me just do the options really quick, make sure everything's all right. The music. Let's put the music up there because I don't want to have any copyrights issues. Uh, skip QTE sequences. So we are going to have QTE sequences, but we can choose to skip this. Uh, skip them. We can have a profanity filter as well. Really? A profanity filter. Interesting for YouTube, I guess. Uh, sure. I'll do the, uh, the filter. Why not? That's going to be a first for me, actually, having a, a filter like that. Um, hints and dialogues. I don't really care. Uh, dialogues and everything, SFX. The Rex, the rest looks fine. I'll keep the uh, QT, QTEs, I guess. For now, why not? Well, I'll keep those and accept. Unlocked ending. So we got multiple endings. It, it seems like for this game, uh, it's a base. It's a uh, choice-based game. Uh, it's like like a, like a mini RPG or something. So it's going to be interesting and fun to play. Let's do this, boys. Content warning. All right. The game includes scenes and storyline elements that some people may find disturbing and emotionally heavy. It contains offensive language, sexual themes, and allusions to them. A fictional depiction, uh, depiction of racism and violence against various groups of people. Player discretion is advised. The game is a work of fiction, blah blah blah. Alright, so this... We can expect some heavy stuff coming in into this game, boys. YouTube is going to be demonetizing me. Maybe the profanity filter is going to help me out. We'll was see. A strange year. The year Uncle Sam got his ass kicked. The young told the old, fuck off. The year when people looked at the earth from a new perspective. The year I found out what it means to be a grown up. I was eight then. My mom worked during the day and studied at night. She was determined to give us a better future. I learned how to take care of myself because I didn't want to be a burden to her. We didn't know much about each other then. She didn't say much and I didn't ask. But it all changed that summer of 69. Mom found out she didn't have much time left. That's when she told me we'd have to find a new home. She didn't mention it was only for me. Damn, right off the bat, they're hitting us with the mom's gonna die vibe. Well, that's great. Alright, let's find out. We've got... I mean, look at that. Already I can see we've got uh, righteousness, confidence, and relations. we got three bars in here and we got ourselves. Explain your goals. I'm playing as the mom right here. Uh, placate the... I'm just gonna explain. I'm not gonna try and be mean to him. Depends how long it takes to convince Mr. Hutt to pay me. I don't like him. Nobody does. Can I come with you? No, baby. Gotta do this alone. Alright, Mitch's character. Game choices change Mitch's pa uh, personality characteristics. The combinations of these traits will determine what kind of a person Mitch becomes as an adult. Oh, so it's the type of game where we influence our kid as to how he's gonna become later on as an adult. Very interesting, boys. Well, if, any, if anything, I should probably be more serious about this and not play it like any other RPG because otherwise it would become an asshole and basically die off in seconds in the streets as an adult. So maybe, uh, maybe you know, I should take actually this uh, the serious route. Righteousness determines his attitude towards the law. Okay, so this is the law. Confidence is a self-assuredness, so if he's confident, I guess. 
and this is the yes, attitude, attitude towards other people. So this is the law, and this is other people, and this is just in general. All right. What about me? This looks like a 3D, uh, like a, a map strategy uh, type of thing. So I can just press. Oh, that's how I do it. Okay. If I click, wherever I click, it's going to choose where she goes. That's actually kind of nice. I actually want to see before we enter the diner if we can go anywhere. You know, I can already tell this game's going to be great, boys. This is going to be a great game. Now, I don't want to be... I think I want to be someone good for Mitch. I want to actually, like, show him the good things in life and not the bad things. So I'm not going to try and steal anything. I'm not going to try and be a complete jackass. Maybe we can do a second let's play later on and... And be a jackass, but uh, right now I'm not going to do that. So I don't, I didn't see anything. Let's just go ahead and enter the diner. All right, let's go, boys. Let's do this shit. Enter the diner. It's going to be a brand new. Um... Oh, there we go. We're inside. Louise. Good to see you, honey bunch. Got your days mixed up. It's my shift today. Uh, be direct, talk to the waitress, talk to the old man. Uh, I'm going to talk to the waitress. I'm not going to be direct. I want to be a good person, boys. So I want to be a normal person, actually. Just a brand normal person. Let me just uh, to talk to the waitress. I'm going to act as if I was actually me in this situation. I came to say goodbye, buddy. What? You're leaving? You should do the same. I'm just going to explain. I'm not going to... I'm not gonna do that. That's just, that's not the route to go, boys. I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm just gonna explain. I want to spend more time with my kid. Something happened? No, I just feel like I don't even know who he is. Boss around? In the can. With a girly mag? It'll be a while, sweetie. Oh, I'm out of time. You know he can't mess with Hut when he's reading. Reading, but right. You can give it a shot. Right, I'm sure that's what he's doing, boys. I mean, I don't want to mess with him. I guess we can, we could wait. I mean, we all go all the time in the world. I could chit chat with this guy, this man. Uh, let me go to the juice bar. Uh, juice bar. The uh, the juice box, really quick. Let's use it and put some music in it. Broken van, daddy's tidy whiteies. Okay. The last dance. Hit the road. You know, how about, um, the last dance? Let's do the last dance, whatever, boys. Let's be ominous a little bit with the music. Alright, so we put some music on. Not sure if that's copyrighted or whatnot. I did put the music pretty low. Uh, let me talk to this guy, actually. I kind of want to talk to him. I want to talk to that customer really quick and see. He seems familiar with me, so. He must be a regular. Really dug, Alvin. The war messed him up a bit, and he ended up like most of the vets, in a dive bar. So you're leaving us, honey. How'd you guess? Your eyes, you're already gone. I'm gonna miss you, old timer. I'll miss you too. Thanks. Ah, that's a good dude. That's my dude right there, boys. That's actually a nice fellow right there. Let me talk to her again. Maybe she's got more things to say. Can you help me out, Betty? Sure. What's up? The boss owes me 85 bucks. Overtime? Yeah. Can you take it out of the register? Whoa. No, I can't do that. Yeah, she can't do that. What the fuck? I'm going to back off. That's no way to do it. That's definitely no way to do it. If he can't pay you, he can't pay you. You're not going to take the cash off the register. That's just going to unbalance the entire shift. What the fuck is this? You know damn well, I'm a cashier myself, man. You know damn well, I'm not about to do something I wouldn't do uh, in my real life. Come on now. Okay, I'll wait till he's out of the can. Yeah, I'm not gonna do Mom that. Mom waited for anything. Mom never waited. Bullshit, she's gonna wait. I'm the one controlling her. I'm the most, one of the most patient guy ever, so she's gonna learn to be, uh, 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 she's gonna learn patience, boys. That's just how it is. What about these dudes right there? How's you going? Uh, how's it going? Wyatt and Billy, the bikers. Oh, the bikers, huh? When not hogging the road, they sit here, bending the elbow and hitting on waitresses. I wanted to be like them. 
Hi, Louise. Did I hear it right? You're quitting. Unfortunately, ignore telling to boss off. I'm just gonna confirm, boys. That's unfortunate, but it is the case. I got somewhere else to be. Yeah. What's next? Tell the truth. Answer it evasively. I'm just gonna tell the truth. I'm gonna be honest as I can be right here, man. These customers are kind of nice, so I'm not gonna be mean to them. I gotta take care of my business. Sounds serious. Because a hut? More serious. I gotta find a home for my son. Yeah, that's heavy. Good luck, Lou. Yeah, thanks, thanks for that. See, they're good people. I don't understand why I would try and and Boring. be mean to them. All right, I'm playing as Mitch. Okay, so while she's waiting, I'm gonna play as uh, Mitch, I guess. Turn the radio on. Why not? Okay, where are we gonna put this? Sports? Come on, put that at sports, man. There's gotta be a hockey game somewhere. Something, boys. Turn this up. Turn the volume up. Uh, exit? Oh, that's just to exit. Uh, can I press anything else? Nope. Anything at all. Turn the volume. Okay, I'm just gonna exit. Uh, get out of the car. Are you sh What? Now, why would I do that? My relations with people are actually going up, so I'm actually, you know, a, a good person. See? Alright, let's just get out of the car, I guess. We're just gonna make a mistake here. I don't- I feel like we should've listened to my mother. And not get out of the car, you know? I feel like that's probably s Look into the car. Are you- what? I barely remember Hut, mom's boss, but I can still see his red car. Oh. Shit, wait. There's the old dude right there. Let me go talk to him real quick. Let me interact with him really quick. Let me see. Grab the money? What money? What do you mean? Oh, do you... Are you telling me I could keep the money? And... Or give it back to him? Let me give it back to him. Let me be a really kind person, boys. Hello, Mitch. Hey, well, how's it going? Return the money or keep the money? Oh, my God. Wow. You're really going to make me make these decisions really early on. That early. All right, let me return the money, boys. I'm, an honest, uh, I'm as honest as I can be, boys. I am not going to steal anything. I don't want to be in trouble here. Let's just return the money. You dropped five dollars. Oh, thanks. You're a good boy. Of course I am. Take care of your mother. She'll need it. Why? She looks like she's having great fun. Take my word for it. Oh, oh almost forgot. Got something for you. Oh, you do? What is this? WSD? Okay, so that's for the... That's how you move it, okay. What do you want me to check on that? Uh, let me uh, see really quick on the other side. What is that? I'm not too sure what he wants me to look at. I believe he wants me to look on the other side, maybe. Iwo Jima, okay. Iwo Jima? You were there, I guess? Old times. I hope it comes in handy on your trip. He gave me a lighter, boys. So cool. Thanks. Alright, well, it's kind of dangerous. Hopefully it's not going to be... Well, so, uh, all the important decisions Mitch makes in his daughter will also shape his personality. Alright, alright. Got you. I see you, game. Go find your mother. Okay. I gotta go find my mother. Well, they are telling me to look at, uh, on the window, so let, let me look through the window really quick. See what I, what's going on here. Is she... Uh, what's she doing, really? Is she actually waiting? Okay, so we're playing as her again. There he is. Not sad all, at all, boys. Well, there he is, the manager and stuff. What the hell are you still doing here? You don't work here no more. Uh, remember, remember uh, reminding him about Dupe? Demand Dupe? I'm not gonna demand it. I'm gonna just remind him. Politely remind him. You know, you start politely, then you slap the shit out of him. He doesn't come to his senses. You know, that's how you go about it, about things. I want to talk about my pay. There you go. May as well, because I want to talk to you too. Come into my office. Alright. 
Let's do that. You've got an interesting voice, my guy. You got a deep ass voice. Looks like he's he smoke a bunch of packs of cigarettes every day, boys, and he's losing his voice because of that, so. Are you gonna open the door or what's going on here? Welcome to Hut's Kingdom, sweetheart. Alright, that's kinda creepy, but uh alright, let's go. Let's go inside. Here we are. What were we talking about? Right. About you owing me a hundred and fifty bucks, sweetheart. I owe you something? Express surprise, deny. I'm actually surprised. How how do I owe you that much in anything at all, really? I thought you owed me money. What are you talking about? That's how much your quitting cost me. None of my business. I want my 85 bucks. That's the spirit, honey. I have no time. I need this money. What if I chip in an extra 65 to go with your 85? Would you find the time? Would you find the time? Well, do you have any more details on that? Confidence? My confidence is actually going down. I don't know why it went down. Uh, do you have any details on that? I mean... I need more details. Maybe I could find some time, but... Well, what? my confidence is actually going down. What the hell? Me, Mr. I guess I'm not a confident person in life. Well, you know, don't make me feel sorry about myself now. Come on. Provoke, give him uh, the slip. Confront or provoke. I'm not going to provoke him. I'm going to conf... It's either confronting or giving the... I feel like this is going to bring down my confidence, though. Is that really something I want? Interesting. I want to kind of confront him, though. I think I should probably confront him. It's going to bring my confidence up. But is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know, boys. Um, let's just confront him. I, I hope nothing bad happens. Go back in the can with your girly mag. You're not getting a dime, you arrogant cunt. Whoa, now. You know type. Playing hard to get, but really, you put out for anyone, anywhere. Right then, I only wanted my mom to get out of there. Then you're birthing those little bastards nobody wants. Your choice, but you still owe me $150. Look, I don't hold you shit. Don't get provoked. Insult him. He's trying to provoke me. Yeah, there it is. I think he's just trying to provoke me. Uh, we're just going to ignore him, boys. We'll ignore him. Uh, I'm not going to get provoked here. I'm not going to play his games. Are you done? Then please give me my pay. <sighs> Last chance. $250. Cold revenge? Hot revenge. What do you mean, hot revenge? Cold... What does that even mean? Now, I don't even get what that means, boys. I don't even know what, what that's supposed to mean. Cold revenge or hot revenge? What does that mean? Uh, I... I don't know. Let me do the cold revenge, I guess? 250. Yeah, I told you it would make a deal. Okay, so that's the cold revenge. I guess where cold means... We're paying him? We're actually paying him? Whoa, what is this? Take a good look, honey. That's what a real man looks like. Okay. On the other hand, you're not too bad. I knew you'd like it. Wait a minute. For starters, come over here, honey. I've got a better idea. Let's play Take the Sucker's Clothes. You slut! Oh my! Oh, I just slapped the shit out of him. What the fuck was that? What just happened, boys? I just stole his pants and went off. What the hell is going on here? I'm confused. I really so, didn't know what... How did it go? Uh, I could have went better. The register. What the fuck do you mean, the register? What? Doing whoa, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, hold on now. I do not like this. We're gonna have to restart, boys. I'm not doing this shit. I think we're gonna have to go for hot revenge. Uh, cold revenge. I'm not stealing anything. 
The fuck is this? Whoa, now. Now that's some bullshit right there. Okay. Uh, new game, I guess. Alright, so we're back to this. So it's actually me telling me what it's gonna give me and get rid of uh, in this uh, scenario right now. So I've changed some things, I guess. I think it's the QTEs. So this is, for some reason, it's gonna upgrade my righteousness. I don't know why that would upgrade my righteousness because I was nearly stolen for the cold revenge. I was stealing money. That is not... I don't understand how that's supposed to do anything with the law. So, uh, that's bullshit. Uh, that apparently Hot Revenge is the bad one. For the law. I'm kind of confused here. I'm going to do Hot Revenge because Cold Revenge, I did not like it. Now, whatever happens in Hot Revenge happens at this point. I I'm doing it. Idea. Boom, bitch! Oh, Bam! There you go. Now, that's how you do it. I went all right, so I whatever happens, I guess I do have to. Oh, okay, I have to steal mo the money anyways. Whatever happens, that's kind of bullshit. I don't like that though. Clean out the register, take eighty-five. I can either clean out the entire register or just... A I'm just going to take my 85, I guess. All right. Catching in my overtime. Mr. Hull will kill me for that. Keep the money. Give uh, Betty $10. Put the money back. Put the money back. I think that's... That's stupid. Fine. Fuck the cocksucker and his money. You fucking bitch. I'll fuck you up! Yeah, right. Oh, shit! He just punched the shit out of a woman. Now that you don't do that, man. Hey, why? Is it just me, or is Fatso asking for it? Yeah, I think he's asking for it. What the fuck was that? Keep on trucking, Louise. Thanks. All right. Well, I got the bikers on my uh, in my side at least. Like, what the fuck was that? So no matter what happened, I was gonna at the beginning steal the money, but I didn't steal anything. That nobody wants me. Is that why we're leaving? What? That's not true at all. Sweetheart, Hut is a bad man, and he's talking nonsense. Exactly. But his karma just caught up with him. What's karma? Don't worry about it for now. Holy! All right, we better get, we oh, better get out of here. Where'd you get this lighter? It's Iwo Jima. Got it from Albert. Can I borrow it for a sec? Don't do it. Wait for me in the car, okay? The fuck is she gonna do? Oh no! Set the car on fire! Yo, she's doing all sorts of crazy shit. All right, whatever, boys. I'm guessing I'm going all out on this one. Look, I did not want that. That's not what I... I did not want that. That's not... I I, went, I should have went for Cold Revenge again. If I had known that I had the choice to actually... Mitch, I promise you. Because be I want to be on the good ever. side. I want to be on the law side, boys. I don't want to be somebody that breaks the law or anything. Damn. Well, I guess I had no choice in the matter, really. No matter what happens, the cold option really felt like he was going to rape me or something. That was not a good option. 1961, we're going back in time, all right? So we're going back eight years from now, boys. Apologize to Grandpa Elijah this instant, Louise. You scared him half to death. Great, I hope he dies. Oh, wow. All right. She just slapped the shit out of me. Slap back. Alright. Uh, walk away. Provoke. I'm just gonna walk away, boys. No wonder Dad ran away from you. Damn. I didn't need to do her like Never that. See me again. One wow. Day, to take you back. Yeah, right. As if.
Now, where are we going? We're going back to 69, okay? We're going back here. Wait, that's our... Okay, so we're going back Later, to our house. Mom told me coming back home. Our old house. Stupidest idea she'd ever had. The house is so huge. What are we waiting for? We're going back here. I thought we were never going to come back here. Well, that's just great. That's that's just uh, not what I expected us to do right away. Go back to our parents' house like that. Is it even their house again uh, still? Probably. All right. Well, I got a feeling that things are going to go horribly wrong, boys. I don't like this. Is this why we, we wanted Halvin to go in there? Uh, not hey, Halvin, I, I think our, our son and stuff. And who are you? The police? I'm family. Yeah, I'm just gonna say, uh, I'm family. Louise, I'm your auntie. I don't know you. Is your mom around? Mom! Some aunt's here. So I'm guessing my sister lives here now. It's not our, our mother anymore. It's our sister. Interesting. Louise? Cautious greeting? Joyful greeting? I don't like those QTEs. They're kind of telling me too much. Let me get rid of those QTEs. Uh, no, it's the hints. Okay, no, it's the hints that I want to get rid of. There we go. Get rid of the hints, boys. I don't like the fact that they're giving me hints. Uh, joyful greeting? Let's do the joyful uh, thing Happy. though. I miss you guys so but I don't know. Much. I don't want to be told like sorry. what's gonna well, happen and stuff if I do see. anything. Sure. Sorry for dropping in on you like this. And who's that? My son, Mitch. It's time he met his family. Say hello to your auntie and your cousin. Hello, auntie. A cousin? You lie. No, I lie. don't lie. Because he's colored. Well, that doesn't matter, is it? Does it? Uh, answer sarcastically. Answer reasonably. I'm going to be reasonable. What's the difference? You don't know? Gee whiz, Mom. Are they our family? Come on in. She raised her, her son pretty poorly. I know we're 69, but still, come on now. Her son is already acting like an idiot. All right, passing through. Well, to tell the, I'm just going to tell the truth. I'm not going to lie. No, I'd like to stay a while. Unfortunately, we've got guests already. I have no room for you. You're, you've got no room Can for me? your sister. Who's that? Some Louise, Granny. Is this woman. Louise. I knew you'd be back with your tail between your legs. Mitch, meet Granny. Hello, Granny. Where's your daddy? Did he leave you, poor child? It runs in the family. Um, Louise wants to stay with us. But it's not the best time, right? It couldn't have worked out better. But maybe we shouldn't decide until Grandpa's back from his walk. Suit yourself. What was your name again, kid? It's Mitch, Granny. Don't you Granny me. Just Margaret if you must. Understood? Can I say that too? Boys, uh, go and play outside. Just like old times, Mom making a pie with her daughters. You learned how to make a pie. No, but I can show you where the flower is. That's gonna end badly, boys. All right. Can it's gonna end pretty badly. Do that? Okay, I guess you're strong. Your turn. What about it? All right, so here's what we're going to do, boys. We're going to try and bring this up to get uh, in the next video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this first part. This uh, this game is not what I expected, but it's kind of nice. I like it. I like the kid quite a lot, boys. I'm actually going to try and be friendly to everybody. I'm going to try and be as 
kind and generous as I can be, a good character, goody, goody to choose, for, uh, which is going to make a difference from the other RPG games that I usually play, the decision games. Uh, I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.